Hi guys, I have an audition first thing this morning and I'm gonna take you with me. Good morning, I'm getting up. I'm about to hop in the shower and start getting ready. Even though I'm really tired and I wanna stay in bed today. So I just got out of the shower. I have an audition for a commercial first thing this morning and usually before I'm on camera, I try to get a workout in to wake up my face, wake up my brain, depuff my skin. I don't have time for that today, so I'm gonna have to rely on my two favorite depuffing face tools. I keep both of them in the fridge so that they come out cold. My jade roller and my under eye patches, I'll link both below because they're my favorite. I love my jade roller and I use it all the time. It's supposed to drain the lymphatic system. I'm not sure if there's science behind that, but what I will tell you is anything cold that you're rubbing on your face helps wake it up. Before these little things were invented, people just used to put spoons in the fridge and do that. So Next are my rose gold eye patches from Wander Beauty, which I also keep in the fridge so that they come out cold. They're just really beautiful to look at and they feel amazing. I can definitely tell a difference after I take them off. My under eyes are a lot smoother and more awake. There's a lot of great nutrients for your skin in these. And when they're cold, obviously cold is the number one deep puffer. I'll leave these on for about 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna have my favorite coffee, which is literally just black with a splash of almond milk. <laughs> Look at my script, and I'm gonna hope that the coffee and the eye patches do their job because I am very groggy this morning. Here's to hoping. <laughs> What I need today is just a really basic, matte, natural makeup. I'm gonna go into detail about my natural makeup routine in a future episode, but for now I'm just gonna do it super quick since I'm in a little bit of a rush to get to my appointment. I feel like my under eyes are so hydrated and so awake compared to when I got up and they looked like dark circles. We're doing great so far. So basically your agents will send you a breakdown of what the client's looking for, they'll tell you body type, maybe personality type, and a little bit of guidance on how to dress. So for instance, if something said petite blonde, I wouldn't go in. This one said woman about town with an average body type and comedic sensibilities. So I went with just a plain gray t-shirt with a French tuck, my favorite hoops, and some black skinny jeans and black boots. So normally I take the train or I would walk or I take the train and then walk, but today it's freezing in New York City and drizzling, so I'm gonna be super lazy and just get a cab. and I want to get some footage for you so you can see what an audition waiting room looks like but I also want to be respectful of the other actors and not be putting a camera in their face so it'll probably be just some really quick cell phone clips. And that was honestly a pretty positive experience. It is not always. They had us go in in a group of four girls and just improv a really comedic scene. It was really fun. And I met some cool girls who were fun and funny. And that was it. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And it felt good to be in there with other actors. Like that community feeling, you're not alone. It's usually a very solitary experience where you walk in and there's a bunch of people behind a table just kind of like staring at you with a blank face 
and you walk out and have no one to talk about it with and no one ever knows what happens in there. I also have been asked to do really ridiculous things. Three separate times for commercial auditions, the casting director has asked me to do my favorite dance with no music. I'll tell you which dances I chose and you can decide for yourself if you think these auditions worked out. The first time I opted for a twist. The second time I opted for a time step. And the third time I opted for a backwards bunny hop, which is basically just like hopping backwards. After each of those three instances, I felt really awkward. Anyway. Today was a great positive experience and my ritual after an audition is to take the script and literally throw it away. Because honestly, it's like one in 50 jobs you audition for you'll get if you had the best audition of your life and they decided to go with someone of a different hair color. You'll never know. If you had the worst audition ever, you'll still probably never know because those people behind the table are just moving on. So, so should you. I'm going to throw that script away and just get on with my day. As always, thank you for watching. If this is something you're into, hit subscribe. And also, please feel free to let me know what you would like to see me cover in an episode. I would love to hear and you can write those in the comment sections below. Bye.